Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about PD Knob Online, which is basically the best free online PDF editor that you can use online. It also has a desktop app version. In this video, we're gonna go through the main functions and features of PD Knob Online. And of course, you can start using it today if you have PDFs to edit, convert, sign, compress, merge, and more. As I've said, it is completely free. It doesn't have any limits on file size or number of documents. It supports batch processing and it also works very good with large files. First of all, we're just going to click on the get started button. Of course, you can test out PD knob online from the description below if you're interested. And let's go and test out the OCR function first, because this is something that most free PDF editors online or desktop don't offer for free, but PD knob offers it for free. And if you use this function, of course, you can convert scanned PDF or images into searchable and selectable text. So let's click on this feature and then let's select more desktop and image. I have here an article that I've just converted to JPEG and let's see how well PD knob will be able to convert this to a readable or selectable text. Let's also add the second part of that PDF document here and now of course you're gonna have to select the language but it most likely detects the language automatically. You have here languages that you can select from. In this case it automatically detected English and then I'm gonna click on OCR PDF. As you can see it's now converting our images to a readable or editable text and then we're gonna use that to create a new PDF document that we're going to edit and more. So as you can see right now, our PDF documents were created automatically and we can now select the text and we can edit it really easily. Of course, you also have the option to sign a PDF document using PD knob. You can just use the PD knob sign feature. You can choose a PDF document. Then you're going to have to enter here the information and you can also set fields where it needs to be signed, for example, here, and then you're going to be able to send it to an email. I think that is a pretty useful feature that you can use and it's pretty simple. One thing that we can do now with PD knob is to merge our PDF documents because as you saw we've uploaded two different images it automatically created two different PDF documents and let's just scroll down to organize PDF and then let's just click on merge PDF and select our PDF documents from here and let's merge them as you can see you can easily switch the order of the pages if you want and for example I'm gonna leave it as it is now you can even delete things if you don't like them and more let's click on merge PDF and now once we have our PDF document we can use that PDF document to convert it if we want. So for example, I can select an image and convert it to PDF, which I've already done basically with the OCR function, but let's just do it again. On the desktop, I'm going to select my two images from here. As you can see, it is okay. I'm going to click on convert to PDF and it's going to create a PDF document with those two images. And now if we're going to the convert section again, we can use this to convert our PDF document to other formats as well. For example, PDF to Word, let's select our PDF document. And then we can easily do that. Convert to Word is going to be done in a few seconds. For example, if we have a large PDF document, we can compress it from the organized PDF section. We can select compress PDF. I'm going to select from desktop. For example, I'm just going to get this PDF document and let's see what options we have. We have light compression, moderate compression, and also high compression. The recommended one is the balanced one, which is the moderate compression. I'm going to leave it as is, and then I'm going to click on compress PDF. And then we can also compare the two sizes, but of course, it being a pretty small document, it won't be any significant significant compression, but with larger PDF documents, you're going to see a change. So as you can see in the left side, I have the original PDF document and the right side, I have the compressed PDF document. Of course, we could have even gotten a better size if we would have went for the more aggressive compression. Of course, this compression feature doesn't have any limit in size. You can even use large PDF documents. Let's now protect our PDF document. We're going to go into the protect section and then protect PDF. Let's select a PDF document, for example, this one, and then we can set a password. We can set in batch or individually if we want. Let's set a pretty simple password here. It also tells us how good or how secure the password is. Let's click on protect PDF. It's going to start the process of protecting our PDF document. So for example, if we're going to use the split PDF section, I'm going to select the new PDF document that was protected. As you can see, we now have to input the password and click on confirm. And now we can split these pages if we want from the PDF document. Also in this section, you're going to be able to compare PD not with other popular online PDF editors and you can see from here that it is basically the one that provides most features and they are provided for free. I think that is pretty nice. And of course, if you want to try PD knob, make sure to check it out from the description below. In the end, if you're also interested for a desktop app for Mac or Windows, you can just go for PD knob for Windows. You just click on that and you can get it if you want as the desktop version. So this is PD knob online, the best free online PDF editor that you can also get in the desktop version. Make sure to check 
check it out from the description below if you're interested. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.